Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm gonna talk all about video lenses. So, to shoot video, you will see that there are some different lenses. As a matter of fact, I have here three lenses that looks completely different, including this one, and they all work the same or similar, and they all have more or less similar image quality. So, what's the difference, you may ask? Well, basically, I got here a Sony Sai 55mm f1.8 and this is actually a photography lens but of course you can use it for video with the right pairing with the right camera with the Sony cameras. Here I have a Sanyan Cinema lens, it's a 50mm t1.5 and as you can see it's fully manual so you have a ring to change the focus, another ring to change the, the iris or the aperture and here what I have is basically a super prime. It is a cinema lens from Sony, it's a 50mm T2 and as you can see the difference is kind of like coming on sizes, the one is smaller, get bigger and much much bigger and this is originally a PL mount which means it will work well with something like a, like this, this can also have a EF mount but keep in mind that there are some cameras like the Arri that only come with PL mount so you have to use cinema lenses for cinema cameras. Um, the question that everybody asks me is, do cinema lenses perform better than, let's say, a photography lens? And the, the quick answer is yes, but not really. Like, the difference is so minimal. Both sharpness, colors, bokeh, there isn't like a really big difference, something that worth noticing. But some of the advantages then of the cinema lens is that they all come in the same size. So I got here a 50, and I got here a a 20 and you can see it's exactly the same size. That's because when you are changing lenses, um, you have a, a wheel to change the focus and to change the iris and you don't want to be adjusting the, for different sizes. The same happens with the ND filters, you don't want to be changing different ND filters. So that's why cinema lenses, they work, they're different, they're bigger, they're also much more expensive and way too heavy. You can see it's a lot bigger than my camera in this case. I'm going to be testing all these three lenses against each other and using this little Sony A7R Mark II and you can maybe appreciate the difference by yourself. Well, for the first test I wanted to see how these lenses resolve colors and more specifically skin tones. This is the girlfriend of one of the photographers at the studio. Um, well, you can see there is a bit of a mixed light as you see the inside but there is a lot of light coming up of the window. For this test, I wanted to see how well they resolve detail. So this test is all about sharpness. So I put a hand drawn B note. We have a lot of details and see how these three lenses resolve that detail. Well, now I switch cameras. So I was shooting with the A7R Mark II, now I'm shooting with the Sony F7 at 4K. And the idea is basically to, to show you a little sample of how these lenses, um, well, the idea is talking about video lenses, so how they shoot um, during video and testing it at different apertures. And last but not the least, I just wanted to do a blind test, see if you can notice the difference between one lens and the other one. So I should shoot a few seconds with each lens, see if you can spot the difference. Well, there you have it. As you can see in the image quality, there isn't a very big difference. It's more of a usability difference and the different cameras that you're gonna use these lenses. So all you know, you can shoot video with any camera, any lens, and the most important is going to be storytelling, the content, what is it that you're shooting, 
and how much interest the people will have in, in your videos. It's not about the lens of the camera, so it helps a lot. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, you know what to do. Comment, like, share, and subscribe.